What it is, Tableau people, it is I, Matthew Heffron, back at it again for some Tableau tutorials. Today, I'll be dropping some knowledge on progress shadows and how to create those. If you don't know what they are, boom, here they are on the screen. If you find these videos helpful, please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. All right, let's go to the sample superstore. And we're gonna create a couple calculations. So let's go up to analysis, create calculated field. And this is going to be called progress shadow. And what this is, is a min, and we'll put in here 1.0, hit okay. And let's right click and we can go to default properties, number format, let's do percentage, decimal places, we'll do zero, hit okay. Let's take that progress shadow, drop it on columns. Okay, next let's take subcategory. We'll drop that on rows and let's keep creating calculations. We'll go analysis, create calculated field. And what we wanna do here is create a calculation called orders and this will be a count distinct. Let's grab that of order ID, okay. Get that created, hit OK, and then we'll do one more calculation. So we'll come up, analysis, create a calculated field, and let's call this percent of total, oops, total orders. And this is going to be orders divided by total orders. And then let's just go ahead and wrap that in a ZN so it returns a zero, it's null, okay. And so we'll take this percent of total orders, we'll right click that, default properties, number format, let's go to percentage and we'll just give it a decimal place of one, hit okay. Take that percent of total orders and we're gonna drop it on columns. All right, this is where the fun begins. So let's come down here, we'll right click, we'll say, hey, let's make this a dual axis. And then we'll also right click and say synchronize axis. Okay, we're, we're gonna get there, I promise. So next, let's look, this is the progress shadow. So let's take off the color here and we'll click color and I like to use a gray. You can play around, get whatever color you like, but let's start here and we'll see how it looks. So we'll hit gray and then we need to change this from the automatic that it changed it to back to a bar. So now we have our bar and actually let's look at this here. Prior shadow, let's hold down the command key. Let's drop that on the label. And so we can see this whole bar is 100%. Next, let's focus on these guys. So We'll click here and we'll say percent of total orders. Let's hold down the command key. We'll also just drop that on label. We'll change this from the automatic to a bar. Cool, we're, we're getting there. And there's a few little things that I like to do to make this pop. So one thing is if you come up to the color, so for this bar, I kind of like adding a border to it. So if we go to color, you can come here to border and let's go one, two, three. Boom, we'll hit that. Let's go standard, let's go tire view so we can see this thing. Let's sort it, we can right click subcategory, click sort, and let's sort it by a field, descending, awesome. Okay, and another thing that I like to do is this progress shadow bar, I like to make it a little thinner, so First off, let's just make the whole thing a little thinner. Okay, now let's target that progress shadow. We'll go to the size. Let's bring it down just a little bit. Ooh, I like that. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. There's a few more things you could do. Um, I'll, I'll leave that up to you guys, but definitely uncheck show headers. You can hide these headers. And eh, why not? Let's just show it. I like these things. So we'll come in here to the um, percent of total. Sometimes I like coming in here to the labels and put that to a 10. Um, same thing. Let's go third one down here. Eh, 
actually let's, let's show you this let's go automatic and we'll oh, let's go back into it we'll go here let's put it to the left kind of like that to the left over here to the right the progress shadow same thing let's keep our font sizes consistent go to a 10 make that bold you get the picture there's a lot of formatting you can do have fun with it hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and if you do please like and subscribe that mean a lot to me 